Zuma. Pakati. Kanyule. Looking fairly promising from Golden Arrows. Stringing a couple of passes together. Kanyule. Expecting a bit much from Sheldon Rue. Now, oh, can Tabangla Besi launch something here again? Banda. That's in Corsi. No goals yet here in Petersburg. Nil nil. Maria Stars once again looking dangerous through Kasaka Banda. Stars just uh, looking for something again. Lapesi has been allowed in here. Critical for the home side, and it's in the back of the net. Rio Stars open the scoring and the celebration. The defense opening up in front of them. The easiest of opportunities. Poor work from the defense of Golden Arrows. And Jacob Zakala is a happy man. Caretaker coach look to be Kenneth Maggiani. Celebrations ring out around the turf loop as the home side hits the front. Let's watch Tabangla Besi easily around the keeper. The conversion from uh, Kenneth Maggiani, I think. Internet beckoning and Maggiani was wasn't going to miss this opportunity to get onto the scoreboard for the first time this season. So the home side take the lead. Clearance by Tapelo Liao. Just too much position being given away at the moment. Kanyile. Space for Jason Lake. Lake is a quick man. Hasn't scored in the league as yet, but has scored in the Rothmans Cup. That's the man who has scored the only goal of the match so far, Kenneth Mattiani, formerly of Jomo Cosmos. 26-year-old putting his team into the lead. Confirmation of that Rio Stars goal. The home side led after 12 minutes. And that's Sam Pam who seems to have taken a knock in the face. Seem to be directly from the ball rather than from a challenge from an opposition player. And, uh, Sam Pam in a spot of bother. 
Well, looks to be in some trouble here. Perhaps uh, the ball struck him in the eye and uh, rear stars down to 10 men temporarily. It's again Kenanyani who certainly hasn't been at the top of his game in the early stages here. Sp sparring at the ball again. Matiani to cause problems again. Tembu to the rescue. Now Kanyule. Zuma. Instructions coming from the real stars bench. They'll be happy with taking the early lead and be able to settle down somewhat here in Petersburg. Free kick is by Lekwati and Tim uh, Tambo. That should be sharp there. Rear star threatening for the second time in the match. Way by Tobajani. Labesi unable to make the contact. Now Kadile. <laughs> Celebrations ringing out on uh, the bleachers. Well, Golden Arrow is trying everything that they can at the moment. Jason Lacay. The foul was by Timothy and Corsi. So smartly, Harry Leketlane was uh, onto that foul. Formerly, yeah, that's rather wasted from Golden Arrows. Maybe they haven't really taken note of the poor form being shown in the early stages by the Rio Stars goalkeeper. That's rather flapped at the balls when they've been played into that Rio Stars penalty area. Wasted again by Golden Arrows. Jason Lackey. Sheldon Rue. Now Goody. No way through again for Golden Arrows. At this stage, Rio Star certainly seem to have things bottled up, but they can't afford to let the ball get away as easily as that. We push, we push. Sheldon Rue. to have a lot of confidence. Run away by Kasako Banda. Messi fails him out of a predicament. This time it's Pekka Pakati who has been fouled and uh, Golden Arrows bench not very happy with the challenges that are coming in from Rio Stars. Oh. 
Flying Sheldon Drew, unable to make the contact needed to equalize for Golden Arrows. Nicely flighted, the vain efforts of Sheldon Rue. Um, Kenneth Macchiani. <laughs> so pressure coming in here from Rhea Stars. Nicely dealt with by Golden Arrows. So just over 20 minutes have elapsed here in Petersburg. Rear Stars still holding on to the one goal lead that they held after 12 minutes. And Kenneth Maggiani's open up created by Tavon Vesey. Golden Arrows at the moment just seem to be battling to formulate some sort of strategy. Maria giving the ball away a little bit too easily to Rear Stars. I think they also need just a little bit more service from that right hand side. A lot of the attacks, a lot of the build ups have come down this left hand flank. Dealt with without too many problems from uh, Rear Stars. Away comes Joel Saroba. Saroba with space. Can he make it count? Oh, a lovely save by Ntembo of Sydney Machikaro. Machikaro has already scored two in the Premiership. Looking for his third. Scored against Free State Stars and against Manning Rangers. Sydney Machikaro. Certainly knows where to find the back of the net. So does Jason Lacay. Golden Arrows creating problems of their own once again. The keeper just sparring at it. Doesn't look terribly dedicated this afternoon, Quinn and Yanni. No, he certainly hasn't. Once again, just flapping it across there. George Kanile. Now Zuma. What looked like a promising opportunity for Golden Arrows is wasted once again. Stars through Mashikaro. Can't find a way through. Gorsi. Offside flag was against Mashikaro. Opportunities in the first half they haven't really put one together that uh, was really going to trouble rear stars as yet. Kize will try. Way by Pam. Well, earlier this really good run by Black and there was their penalty there. Certainly Golden Arrows, and it looked like the party was brought down on the edge of that small box. And certainly Golden Arrows thought they should have been given a penalty. Sam 
time, the captain of the home side blocking out instructions. That's Tepo Malchas. Well, made a bit of a hash of that. Machiani. He's been harried well by Klan Klan Klube. seem to be in good spirits. Way by Rue. Lachwati trying to make something happen here. And uh, Masako Panda getting his sights all in disarray, sees the funny side of it. Or is it a grimace? I think looking to strike it with the outside of his boot. And Panda certainly gets into good positions on the edge of the Golden Arrow's big box. Still rear stars who have the majority of the play at the moment, the long effort. Not going to trouble Tillem Tembo. Well, Sorova's had one or two really impressive runs down the left-hand side for Ria Stars. Gianni, chance here, Takachi, well, just from so far out that uh, the header was never going to trouble Avram Quinn and Yanni or the defence of Rear Stars, but uh, it's a little enterprising from Golden Arrows, and uh, they need to be, they just don't seem to have a distinctive pattern at this particular point in time. I think Pagati was looking just to play lucky through with that header. Maybe lucky at fault there. Saka Banda. Mustafa Jani. Again Banda. Here stars. Much more attempt at stringing the passes together. Saroba. Now Liao. No way through this time. Rear Stars having a forfeiture of possession at the moment, Saroba. Oh, that's a great piece of vision by Joel Saroba. Might still get something out of this. Pobajani, in fact, it's Lekwati. being given away far too easily by Golden Arrows and uh, they might yet be punished here in Petersburg. <laughs> Rear stores are really playing this game well. Arrows looking to push people out very quickly. And Rear stores getting men coming from back positions, making those forward runs difficult to pick them up. Stars, La Pessi, an opportunity here for second, and it's there, it's Liao. Rear Stars have doubled their lead. The caretaker coach, Jacob Zakala, with all of his bench, are delighted. And we were just speaking, Jesse, about the gaps that were appearing in the Golden Arrows defense and how they might just be punished. Not the fans glad that it's happened. The Golden Arrows. Paying the price there for the confusion in their defense. They get numbers back, but they certainly don't pick people up. And Liao in this case. 
punish them. So the ball being played in it from Tabangla Besi, who set the first goal up as well. Tapela Liao with Ntembo trying to close down the angle, not really making much of an effort. And Giri it was there getting caught in the wrong position, not goal side at all. Twenty-year-old former Bloemfontein Celtic midfielder getting onto the score sheet for the second time in the Premiership. His previous goal coming in a 1-1 draw away at Makulo against Classic. So on the half-hour mark, Rear Stars leading by two goals to nil here in Petersburg. Way by Rue. Why, but never likely to trouble and tell him Tembo. Who's gone down injured? This is uh, Timothy and Corsi. Well, that might have been courtesy of the aerial collision with uh, Rodney Tobiani. A knock on the back of the head is never a comfortable situation. Uh, he's 31 years old now, Timothy and Corsi. Around to a couple of clubs, formerly of Morocco Swallows, and of course, Super Sport in his previous club. Now, up north. Uh, well, just being collected into, I fancied it was in a, a challenge from a teammate, but in fact, uh, a stray boot, intentional by the look of things. Timothy and Corsi able to continue. It must look like a handball. The Bessie allowed to continue. Careless. Coach not very impressed with the carelessness of uh, Tapela Liao. Way by Kube. Pam sends it back. Looking for Mashikaro. Good defense by Gidi. Johnny making somewhat of a meal of the defense. Good skill by Pakati. Lakay setting it up for Pakati. Johnson Roba, very watchful. Well, once again, the Rio Stars just uh, putting the crime of giving the ball away too easily. Sampam. Oh, a little fortunate for Rio Stars, it must be said. Labesi. Looking for the openings. Last touch from Kube. Rear Stars haven't given up the hope of uh, scoring more goals. Not likely from that angle or the distance. Mm -hmm. 
Certainly has been the more vocal of the two coaches. Sakala. Robert has been in the thick of the things in the defense for the Golden Arrows. Macchiani, lovely turn. Still Macchiani. Corner of Paolo Macano. The referee seems to have decided that. Uh, Yes, Stars player got the final touch, Kenneth uh, Mattiani. So Paolo Macamo getting the benefit of the dart. But already a couple of Golden Arrows players going through the warm-up routine. Mankova Makize, one of them. Good work by Kanyele. Now Zuma. Those two have linked up rather effectively on the left, but not much coming from the right hand side of the Durban based side. Sampam. Bit of an unfortunate bounce initially for Tsepo Malchas. Way by Makamo. Golden Arrows just starting to look a little more industrious than they had throughout the early stages of the first half. Still a touch too loose though in the field. Oh, by Nkosi. Oh, a very late blow for the foul by Siobongo Kanyile on Tabangla Besi. The correct decision when fields. Tell him the tempo, who has one goal to his credit in the Premiership. The penalty it was. Had a scored against uh, Jomo Cosmos in Johannesburg. Let's watch Mashikaro. Now oh, Joel Soroba, that's nicely created and uh, then spoilt by the 26-year-old former Hellenic man. Well, they're going to watch the match from any vantage point they can get, the spectators here in uh, Petersburg. Perhaps uh, the stars should send out a ticket salesman to an outcrop of rock. Once again, Quinanyani playing dangerous games. Well, it was the Rio Stars player, Lucky Lahwati, who rather ducked into that. It's the benefit from Referee Lekitlane. A little bit of indecision there from the Golden Arrows, and we've seen quite a bit of that in various stages of the park out here at Turf Loop. Jason Lacay. That's good work from Lacay. Corner conceded by Kovajani. The 26-year-old Rio Stars goalkeeper hasn't had the best of afternoons yet, but uh, yet to be beaten. Rio Stars are behind in the corner counts. Again, Golden Arrows do something here uh, before the stroke of half-time. Missed by Sheldon Brew. Long effort by Zuma, and successful. And, uh, Tapelo Liao. Just off picture seems to have caught that in the face. Goal scorer of Rio Stars, the second goal. 
to have uh, taken that uh, long effort from Kulisi Zuma in the midriff. But uh, has recovered well enough. Another foul this time, it's Mashikaro. Fouled by Zampa Ngidi. More pressure for Telim Tembo. Just Sako Panda, but the opportunity has been wasted by the home side. Way by Antube. Mkise. Still Mkise. Well, that is a little speculative. That Quinagnani was possibly further off his line than he was. <laughs> Rio Stars just pressing forward for the opening. Way by Mkise. Back it comes from Pam. Jason Lackey. All dispossessed by Pam. Now Saroba. Showed good skills this afternoon. Saroba Liao. Now Corsi. Spreading the ball around with a great deal of confidence. Rear stars, but uh, so would you if you were two goals to nil in the lead. That's rather clumsy from Corsi. I'm sure the coach will be crossing his heart that it stays this way. Looks like we're going to have an early change with Paolo Makamo, who's going to make way. And in his place will be Corban Kize. 22 year old, formerly of Kaiser Chiefs, albeit a couple of years back. Mankoba Nkize comes on as a first half change rung on by Glebo Sibia. Will he be able to make the difference before half time? Well, that was his first touch. Lots of instructions coming in from the bench of Rio Stars. Really, it must be said that the Stars have played uh, far the better football this afternoon. Golden Arrows down by a clear 10% on possession. And, uh, it's shown, giving away the possession far too easily. Tembo uh, confident on that occasion. Well, stars have certainly been very dominant. Tomajani. Looks like it might have been given as a foul throw. Tomajani a little naughty. The three stars will be very happy with their work that's been completed in the first half although we not quite at the end of the first half yet but two goals in the first period and certainly they will be the happier of the two sides a slight delay because of uh, no ball being Ready to throw on the pitch, but uh, Kanyile was receiving a little bit of attention at the same time. Now Becker Pakati. Zuma. Well, uh, it's been about the shape of uh, the Golden Arrows' performance in the first half. Kanyile rejoins the fray. But really, things haven't uh, worked out for Golden Arrows so far. 
in the first half. Of course, they have another 45 minutes to be able to rectify that, but it's going to be a tough ask. Unbeaten on the road this season, Golden Arrows in all competitions. Played five matches, drawn three, and uh, were victorious in two, but no losses away from home as yet. Golden Arrows, Rio Stars unbeaten at home, so one of those records will be changed this afternoon. Mr. Romney Marule showing us that there will be two minutes of his optional time to be played. Kwasi's throw, causing problems. And, uh, Mashi Karo unable to wrap his foot successfully around that one. Saroba guilty of a foul. Arrows looking keen to maybe pull something back before half-time. Pam has other ideas. Nice idea, the idea that but Arrows need to get the ball in behind the Stars' defence. Stars not giving them too much time in the ball, closing them down very, very quickly. The Durban side dominating in the corner count, not making them count. Way by Nkosi. Well, it's almost a case of hit and hope at the moment as Lakay challenges Quinn and Yanni. I don't think it was uh, quite as hard as that. Tobachani. Pam. That's Sheldon Rue for Golden Arrows. Might be a great deal of time remaining in the first half, which has been rather dominated by the home side rear stars. Let's watch Kanyile. That's some Kise. Trying to get the best out of Pakati. So the two minutes that uh, the fourth official had signaled were to be played in uh, referee's optional time have almost elapsed, or they've more than elapsed. So the first half continues. Well, it won't any longer because uh, Harry Lekatlana has decided that's enough for the first half here at uh, Turflop in uh, Petersburg with the home side Rear Stars leading by two goals to nothing at the half time break. And very good value for the two goal to nil lead that they hold at the half time here under the Dome of Rock at the Turflop Stadium. Kenneth Matiani with the first goal on 12 minutes and Tapelo Liao scored the second 17 minutes later. But Rio Stars have been by far the better of the two teams in the early stages. And uh, the two goals came from more like gaps in the goals and at the half time. The home side leads. Golden Arrows looking for their third consecutive defeat and their first on the road this season. Unbeaten away from home. And uh, another substitution to be made by Golden Arrows. It's uh, Musa Mtokwende, formerly of Amazulu, 22 year old, looking to add a little bit of experience and punch to the uh, Golden Arrows midfield, and they certainly need it after their first half performance, which has been nothing more than a little dismal. But Mr. Quende, albeit only 22 years old, has uh, got the experience to perhaps just uh, spread the ball around, hold it up when necessary, and uh, add the width that uh, Mr. Bosibia is requiring here at uh, Turf Loop this afternoon. The referee just counting the personnel, Harry Lekitlana. Ready to take note of the substitution, which will see Tabsan Kwa and Kiri, the man who was responsible for being out of position when the first goal was scored by, scored by Kenneth Matiani. He will make way for Musa Mtakwende. It's the end of the day for Gidi, but uh, perhaps just a change of structure here now for Golden Arrows, who will have to perform a little better than they did in the first half to challenge Rio Stars who look for their to keep their unbeaten record at home intact and to further their passage up the Castle Premiership log. So we're underway for the second half and uh, what a vital one it will be particularly for Golden Arrows. And immediately 
Rhea Stars are showing the ascendancy. You can vote for your man of the match this afternoon on 083 910 7000 for the home side Rhea Stars or for Golden Arrows on 083 910 8000. Phone in and vote for your man of the match. Kevin, I think it's up front and down the flanks that Golden Arrows are lacking just a little bit. Got to get men forward, play balls in behind Rear Star's defense. Well, the only team to have made changes, two of them, one in the first half, one at the half time. Jason Lackey, Kanyele. Looking dangerous, yeah, Lucky pulls one back immediately. What a great start to the second half by Golden Arrows. And it's uh, Jason Lackey scoring his first in the Premiership. He also scored one in the Rothmans Cup against African Wanderers down in Durban. Celebrations from a lone Durbanite, perhaps. But Jason Lackey has pulled one back, the 23-year-old Durbanite. And that will give Golden Arrows not only the respite of being back in the game, but the momentum to carry them forward throughout the second half. Just the start Arrows were looking for early in the second half. Nobody picking up Lackey there. Rhea Saw's got punished. <laughs> An incredible injection of positivity into the game of Golden Arrows. Looking to stalwartly defend their record on the road of course they have been beaten in the premiership just once so far this season that was of course in midweek the 2-0 defeat against super sport only two minutes it took in the second half for jason lackey to pull one back for the visitors Side against Becky Bacati. But the intent has clearly been shown now by Golden Arrows. Their first offside of the afternoon. Bru. Substitute of Kize. Bit of space opening up here for Arrows. Zuma. Oh, that was carelessly given away. Lucky, the goal scorer. Talking about carelessly given away. Let's watch Labesi. Magiani. Defensive work done by Tefal Mochas. Yeah. 